Hello folks and welcome to the very first episode of Zesty Steel. Today we are tackling three summertime drinks. A watermelon agua fresca, a virgin Moscow mule, and some lemonade. To get started, we are going to need simple syrup for each of these three drinks. We're going to start with four cups of water, and then four cups of sugar. Now this is going to make more than enough for our drinks today. I just find simple syrup to be a handy thing to have around the house for mixed drinks, so I made a bit extra. So we're going to heat up the sugar mixture on medium high, stirring occasionally until it runs clear, just like that. Next we're going to pour off our simple syrup, and then we're going to set it aside to cool. To get started with the agua fresca, we'll first need to disassemble our small seedless watermelon. This is best accomplished with a 14th century arming sword. Now as you can see, part of my cutting board was chipped with the watermelon. Try to avoid cutting board vandalism when you do this. As you can see, the watermelon offers very little resistance to the 14th century arming sword. While a claymore or a scimitar may work, I'd recommend using an arming sword because of its versatility. Large wedges are the best size so you can use your sword to carve the flesh out against the rind. Be careful when you're doing this not to chop your fingers off. Yeah, like that, stupid. Next, we're going to take our chainmail coif and load it up with our watermelon chunks. Now again, it doesn't matter what size the chunks are, as we're going to be squeezing it to pulp anyways. So load the whole thing up, and then get ready to squeeze. And this is a really weird sensation, you just gotta get over it. But keep squeezing until all that watermelon juice is out of there. After our watermelon has been squeezed, we're going to want to chop one lime in half and add its juice to our watermelon mixture. Oh, uh, watch out for runaway limes. Next we're going to add our juices to a half gallon pitcher along with four cups of water. Then we're going to add three fourths of a cup of our simple syrup and give it a good stir. Now, as you probably noticed, I added a little bit more than three-fourths of a cup of simple syrup, so mine is a little on the sweeter side, but it's still delicious and refreshing. That hint of lime is also a perfect addition to complement the cool taste of this refreshing drink. Next, we're going to be making a non-alcoholic Moscow Mule, or a Moxcow Mule, if you will. Normally, you would use ginger beer, but this recipe allows you to determine how gingery you want your mule to be. We'll get started by attempting to peel some ginger before realizing that it's hopeless and just chopping it into smaller chunks. Now it doesn't really matter if this is peeled or not, as we're going to be boiling it anyways, so long as it isn't really covered in dirt or anything, you should be fine. We are then going to put it in a pot with about a cup of our simple syrup. We're going to simmer it for about 10 minutes to imbue that syrup with that ginger flavor. Then, after it's done cooking, we're going to take it off the heat and uh, give it a few swirls for some reason. We're going to let this cool for a few minutes, and then our friend Mr. Chainmail Coif is coming back to help us strain those ginger chunks out. So pour it through and let that chainmail catch all the stray ginger bits. Let all that sticky syrup drip right through the chainmail. Next, we are once again going to be chopping up some limes. Nice. Now. It is important when you're purchasing limes to try and avoid evasive limes. Unfortunately for me, I seem to have bought some uh, very, very energetic limes, as you'll see. It took, uh, take one, uh, two, and, well, I got it, sorta. We're then gonna squeeze our limes into the ginger syrup. Next, we're gonna pour one quart of seltzer water into an ice-filled pitcher. Now, pretend that you didn't just uh, drop that cap, and then uh, pour your ginger syrup into the pitcher. Now, give this a nice good stir with your sword, and pour it into a glass and serve. Now this drink was refreshing with a lovely ginger lime bite. The carbonation and the pungent flavors really give you something strong, and the ginger syrup lets you customize this to be as gingery as you'd like. This thing is delicious virgin, but add a little vodka or rum, and you have a mixed drink that will wake anybody up. Next up, lemonade. For starters, we're going to make some stuff called oleosaccharum. This is just a bunch of lemon oils and sugar. To make it, we're going to need to peel three lemons. 
You want to try to avoid the white part of the lemon rind. This is called the pith, and it can be pretty bitter. As you can see, I don't have any pith whatsoever in my lemon peels. We are then going to take a small mason jar, and we're going to stuff it full of those lemon peels. We are then going to cover the lemon peels with a bunch of sugar. Now, give this a good shake to make sure that all the lemon peels are nice and thoroughly covered, and then we're going to let this sit out for about three days, or until it looks like this. Now this step is entirely optional, but it really does make for a far lemonier lemonade. Next we're going to add our jar of oleosaccharum to a small pot, and then we're going to add some simple syrup, about a cup's worth. Give it a small swirl to make sure that everything's nice and mixed. Then we're going to take our friend Mr. Chainmail Coif out once again to strain our lemon pieces. He's nice and sticky by this point, but that's okay. He's going to take a long bath in some dish soap after this. So, strain those lemon pieces out and get all of that nice sticky syrup ready to go. Now onto the juice for our lemonade. We're going to chop those three lemons from earlier in half. Nice catch. Keep hacking away at those lemons until all three are nice and chopped. Then we're going to squeeze the juice out of them and add it directly to our oleosaccharum and simple syrup mixture. After all the lemons are juiced, we are going to add it to our pitcher along with about a quart of water as well as some ice. Then we're going to give it a nice big stir with our sword and serve. Now this lemonade is by far the most lemony I have ever had. If you have to make any of these three drinks and you just want to make one, this is definitely the one to go for. It is sweet and refreshing while maintaining a bold, complex lemon flavor. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you give these recipes a try for yourself. Summer is here and these drinks are a great way to cool off.